Hi everybody, I'm Mrs Winfield from Wyndham Primary Academy in Derby and I'm here today to show you how you can use things from your home to recreate a counting stick that will help your children recall their times table facts. Now I'm going to pretend that there's a class of children in front of me so all that you'll need to do after watching this video is head over to our top tips video which is sat nicely with this one and it will explain my thinking behind how to set this up and will help you translate the classroom into your home. Okay, so we're going to start by exploring our four times table today and we start our count at zero and we count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. We start our count at zero. One lot of four is four. So we don't need this to help us remember anymore. One lot of four is four. Okay, let's count once more. We start our count at zero and we count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. So we start our count at zero. One lot of four is four. Double four is eight. So two fours are eight. So we don't need that one either. So we begin our count at zero and we count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. Start our count at zero. One lot of four is four. Double four is eight. So two fours are eight. Double eight is, hmm, double eight is 16. So four fours are 16. Okay, getting a little bit more exciting now. Can you remember our missing values? Let's try. Starting our count at zero, we count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. Start our count at zero. One lot of four is four. Double four is eight. So two fours are eight. Double eight is 16. So four fours are 16. Double 16, where would that sit? Hmm, double 16 is 32. So that means eight fours are 32. Can you remember that one? Okay, so we've got our doubling facts now. And we start our count at zero. We count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. We started our count at zero. One lot of four is four. Double four is eight, so two fours are eight. Double eight is 16, so four fours are 16. And double 16 is 32, so eight fours are 32. What else can you tell me about the values on my counting stick or my number line? Ah, 10 fours are 40, because 40 is 10 times the size of four. So, I can also take that one, 10 fours are 40. Right, okay, let's start again. We start our count at zero and we count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. Start our count at zero. One lot of four is four. Double four is eight, so two fours are eight. Double eight is 16, so four fours are 16. And double 16 is 32, so eight fours are 32. Now, we also said that 10 fours are 40 because 40 is 10 times the size of four. But how could I use that to find half way? Mm. Half of 40 is 20. So if 10 lots of four is 40, five lots of four must be 20. Half of 40 is 20. Okay, now we're getting close to having a completely blank number line. So we start our count at zero and we count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. Start our count at zero. One lot of four is four. Getting good at this by now. One lot of four is four. Double four is eight. So two fours are eight. Double eight is 16. So four fours are 16 and double 16 is 32. So eight fours are 32. 10 fours are 40 because 40 is 10 times the size of four. And half of 40 is 20 
so five fours must be 20. Okay, if we start our count at 20 and we count on four more, we get to 24. Ah, so five lots of four is 20, so six lots of four is 24, because it's four more. Easy, that one, okay? So let's start again. We start our count at zero and we count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. Starting our count at zero, one lot of four is four. Two fours are eight, four fours are 16, and eight fours are 32. Hopefully we can remember that one now. So, 10 fours were 40, because 40 is 10 times the size of four. And if you can remember, half of 40 is 20. So five fours are 20. Now we didn't start our count at zero this time. We started our count at five lots of four. We started our count at 20 and we counted on four more. We got to 24. So six fours are 24. If we count on four more again, because we can see just the change in our ones, we get to 28. So four more than 24 is 28. So what does that one tell us? That one tells us that seven fours are 28. Okay, let's start our count at zero and we count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. Okay, so we start our count at zero. One lot of four is four and double four is eight. So two fours are eight. Double eight is 16, so four fours are 16, and double 16 is 32, so eight fours are 32. What else did we remember? Oh, that 10 fours are 40. 40 is 10 times the size of four. And from that, we could work out half of 40. Half of 40 is 20, so 20 is the same as five fours. Okay, now if we start our count at 20, rather than starting our count at zero, we can count on four more. So 20 and four more is 24. So six fours must be 24. Four more than 24 is 28, so seven fours must be 28. And then we're left with these values. Which one to choose next? This one. I like singing this one. I like singing three fours are 12 even with my out of tune pitch, but we go three, fours are 12. Can you do that? Three, fours are 12. Just helps me remember it. Okay, let's keep that one in the bank. So we start our count at zero and we count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. Oh, this one is now sat all on its own. We can remember that one a little bit better. Which one's that on all on its own? 36. Okay, we'll remember that one. So let's see how many facts we can recall. So we started our count at zero and one four is four. I bet you can do this by now without me having to ask you any questions at all. Double four is eight. Ah, so two fours are eight. Double eight is 16, so four fours are 16, and double 16 is 32, so eight fours are 32. 10 fours are 40, because 40 is 10 times the size of four. So half of 40 is 20, so five fours are 20. And if we start our count at 20, rather than starting our count at zero, we can count on four more than 20. 20 and four more is 24, so six fours are 24. And four more than 24 is 28, so seven fours are 28. And we had that one that we sung, sung together, three fours are 12. So all that's left to address is this one that's on its own. Poor 36. But we can say that together, can't we? We can say nine fours are 36. Now I wonder if you can think of a way that I can calculate that. Did you get the same way as me? I thought I could start at 40 and count back four. So using my knowledge of counting back. So if we start our count at 40 and count back four, we can get to 36. Okay. I think that we can go all the way through. So remind me, we always start our count at zero. And we count zero, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 
24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. Wow, that is fantastic. Using only items in your home, you have record the whole of the four times table. Okay, head over to the top tips video right now to see how you can explore this even further.